We couldn't do like a niggas in Paris and chart as a UK rapper. Oh. Releasing a single is like probably one of the most hardest things as an underground artist to do. Like going from underground, that proper underground. We come from underground, like road, breezy underground. Broke out of that to now we're starting to we're climbing, climbing, climbing. But we're still underground. So to find a song that mainstream would like and underground would like that's so hard like it's proper hard like it's mad it's hard and and secretly knowing that being in the uk like underground rap isn't isn't like how it is in america you know them ones like we know that underground rap isn't that like it's it's big than that, but there's a big fan base for it. But the underground rap fan base don't buy music too too tough, and like we couldn't do like a niggas in Paris and chart as a UK rapper. Like on Jay Z and Amer- Jay Z and Kanye can do like a song called Niggas in Paris and be a radio one and all that. We could never like as an English rapper, they wouldn't let us do that. You know what I mean? So it's it's nuts, man. It's mad. Like. That's, that's the hardest thing like making a, a song that your underground people like mainstream people like that's the most difficult thing I think anyway most memorable obviously first time being booked abroad like man went from nothing to being flown out on airplane booked hotels abroad in another country bruv that's mad isn't it in my eyes isn't it like that's mad fam like me thinking about yeah i used to have to fly yeah i need to go holiday i need to pay for this pay for and everything's just getting paid for you and you're still getting holiday i think that's mad and like a mad fan experience is there's been so many man like but yeah like when jd at the closing leicester that was mental when everyone was just outside JD had to tell security to lock the door and everyone was just banging on the door. Ah, that's mad. Right, and then we came out the back, they was all chasing us to the, the cabs and we was running out. It was mad, that was mental. And the girls ripped my jacket and that. That was mad, bro. Like, I remember years back, we was like, oh, how are we getting to Wireless Festival, man? Is there ways you can sneak through the back and bro, get man a ticket, bro? Like, and then man's performing there, bro. You get me, man's got fans turning out there and it's mad bruv, like a man's backstage and just sitting there, Drake's just there, just there, you know, you got Nicki Minaj just there, everyone's just there, like, and you're a part of that, you're a part of that lineup. your name's on them big posters, like wireless, you see crypto code, the man's on their website, it's mad fam, like, it's, it's surreal bruv, and I feel like I'm not even there yet and it's still... It's still sick, you get me? But yeah, man. Any last words? Yeah, man. Go on our website, get some clothes. Get me? Get some swag. I play day that called it UK. Get what you want t shirts, hoodies, snapbacks coming soon, jumpers. You get me, man? But yeah, um, but yeah, big up everyone. Conan, myth. Don't know where he's right now. That, that is just a myth, bro. He's like he's like a mythical person. I don't think he's real, fam. It's just I don't know where Don is, bro. It's a myth. But big up you anyway, Conan. Fucking yeah, big up man's team. Play hard and that my management. You get me? Sneak ball. Be part of the movement. Or play hard. Fashion. But yeah, man. Big up you, Cones. Get me? Get me? Fam. Yeah.